Okay, here is an interesting little video that I've made upon a request. So if you read the request, it's uh, in the future, can you look into Ossetian autosomal DNA and also Afghan Pashtun and Pakistani Pashtun? So the thing is about Pakistani Pashtun, Afghan Pashtun, in general, all these um, South Central Asian ethnicities, I've covered them in great detail in multiple videos, and I don't want to return to those to this topic. Again, I have covered it, and I'm moving past it, right? But Ossetians, I haven't really uh, made that many videos about them. So this is a video about Ossetians. So first, let's look at the autosomal DNA of Ossetians in G25 and the similarity, who they are most similar to. Uh, so Ossetians are most similar to this. I'm just showing five ethnicities, but this shows you the general gist. They are similar to Adigei, uh, Balkar, Ingush, uh, Abkhazci. So they are similar to all the North Caucasian groups, Northwest Caucasian groups. Not anything in South Central Asia, even though Ossetians are Iranic speaking. Ossetians are not really similar to Tajiks or any of the Iranic speakers in South Central Asia. They are similar to Northwest Caucasians. And North Ossetians are similar to Bal Balkars and Karachai, who are both Turkic people, uh, followed by, you know, other North Caucasians. Here are the differences between North and South Ossetians. This is just uh, shows you the difference between these two uh, G25 coordinates. So North Ossetian compared to South Ossetian has more of a drift towards shores, um, to Balar, Bashkirs. Whereas the South Ossetian has more of a drift towards Georgians, uh, Abkhazians, and the rest. So this made me think, what is the Bashkir, what is the connection between Bashkirs and Ossetians? And there actually is some connection if you look at the Y-DNA haplogroups. So here I'm showing the Ossetian Y-DNA. And what's interesting is that I found this on um, Family Tree DNA. They just have a public chart where you can look at uh, different people and where their ancestors are from and what their Y DNA is. But these Ossetians, I only saw um, four people with R1A and the rest of the R haplogroup people had R1B. But pay attention to the subclades, right? So here's the Bashkir Y DNA. I will zoom in so that you can see. And you can compare this. You can pause the video and compare the subclade for yourself. So you see RM198, RM1512, uh, uh, RM... 269, these are very common subclades in Bashkirs, but then you look at the Ossetians and you see these exact subclades in Ossetians in uh, R haplogroups, in, in the R haplogroup. So there's the similarities of a lot of uh, RM269, which is R1B. Um, the R1A subclades predominantly are RM198 and uh, RM512. So there is a there is a lot of overlap between Bashkirs and Ossetians in terms of paternal haplogroups. And this probably has to do with the Sarmatian and um, Scythian, whatever, Iranic origin of both of these ethnicities. So how, how Iranic are Ossetians and how do they compare with other North Caucasians? So I did this little chart, modeled North Caucasians as a mixture of Georgian Caucasus hunter-gatherer, Kura Araxis, um, Krasnoyarsk Bronze Age, which is like um, East Asian, uh, Sintashta, which is Indo-Aryan, uh, Barsen Neolithic, which is farmer, European farmer, and Yamne Samara, which is Yamne, you know, Proto-Indo-European. So here, with the, here um, in this slide, you see they are listed from most to least Sintashta, so from most to least Proto-Indo-Aryan blood. And here we see that Ossetians at North Ossetians at 14.8%, have the most Sintashta ancestry. And even Balkars and Karachai, which are Turkic people, they also have quite a lot of Sintashta ancestry that other North Caucasians do not have. Uh, you might look at this and you might think, why did I include Caucasus hunter-gatherer here? What's the point of including Caucasus hunter-gatherer in a model that already includes uh, ethnicities that derive or groups that derive from Caucasus hunter-gatherers, either, fu either fully or partially? So the reason I included the CHG here is because it's necessary to model uh, West Caucasians. You just don't get good fits if you don't use it. You have to use it to get good fits. Uh, maybe that's because they there was some little population that was stuck in the mountains that just kind of kept surviving over and over and eventually re-emerged 
in uh, the genome of these West Caucasians. So this is just a, a little bit of extra ancestry that they have from Caucasus hunter-gatherers. I don't know. I don't know why this happens, but it is a necessary component to model them. Uh, just Kura Arax does not suffice. So, okay, my rant is a little bit over. Let's move on to the next slide. Uh, North Caucasus most to least Yamne. So this is a different component. So you see the Sintashta is here and the Yamne Rusamara is on the right. And this is not an Iranian component. This is a Proto-Indo-European component. And this Proto-Indo-European component maxes out in Avars. And Avars and other natives of Dagestan have high Yamne ancestry uh, due, to due to ancient admixture, but not recent modern Aryan Sintashta admixture. Uh, their Indo-European blood predates the Aryans. Uh, Ossetians and Northwest Caucasus Turks, on the other hand, have little Yamne, but a lot of Sintashta blood. So you see this difference between the East and the, and the West Caucasus. In the East Caucasus, there is a lot of Yamne and there is a lot of early uh, Proto-Indo-European ancestry. And there is actually more of it. Uh, significantly more to the point where Eastern Caucasus are more Northern and more European like more Eastern European like, but the Western Caucasus, uh, there is, there is very little Yamne. There is almost no Yamne there, but on top of that, they have recent, a little bit of recent Iranian, a little bit of recent Sintashta ancestry. So, and this is the last slide. Assetians modeled as a mixture of Abkhazians and Sarma Sarmatians. Uh, assuming that prior to the arrival of Iranic people, uh, the population of North Caucasus was similar to Northwest Caucasus, was similar to Abkhazians, Abkhazci, um, this is what you can represent Assetians as. You can represent North Assetians as a mixture of roughly 80% Abkhazians and 20% Sarmatians from Urals. And um, South Ossetians, you can represent as roughly 86% Abkhazians and 14% uh, Sarmatians from Russian Urals. So this little bit of Iranic ancestry that they have, it's actually quite a lot. It's significant. It's 20%. Uh, so if you like the video, leave a um, like, comment, suggestions for other videos. Goodbye.